Hey guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV, and welcome back to part three of our six-part series on Soundit 8 Pro. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the effects and mixer section. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab the media, and I'm going to actually grab an audio file that I recorded on a handheld omnidirectional microphone of just some guy playing guitar to see if I could use it on any sampling and stuff like that. So since this was omni, it did capture a lot of the noise from the room and the outside world. So let's just play it so I can show you what's going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here, select this section, which is only the noise. Then we're going to go to processes and we're going to use Sonics Restoration. Now this has a denoiser already in it because I've tried it, but we're going to take it out and put it back in so it'll be nice and reset. We hit playback and you'll hear it looping between the file. You just let it loop a little bit so it can capture the noise print, you freeze it, and then we stop the playback. Next, we click somewhere to get rid of the loop. And now, let's see what we have. We hit playback. Bypass. Let's see if we do maximum attenuation without changing the sensitivity. Bypass it. Back in. So that has done a great job of attenuating a lot of the issues. I'm going to actually back off on the attenuation and on the sensitivity just so we don't get any like little artifacts. And we're going to apply this. Now we can cross that out. Let's go to the beginning and see what we've done to it. And let's listen to what it sounded like before. That is night and day. We just go back to our audio restoration. And next, we're going to actually use the mixer section. Now, this section allows you to write automation, read it, and freeze the effects and track that you have. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here. And you'll notice that we have a giant list of plugins. And that is because I have a lot of plugins that I own. But one cool thing and one thing that I don't own is Sonics plugins. So this actually comes with Sonic EQs, limiter, and reverb. What we're going to do is we're going to use the EQ, and we're going to get rid of a little bit of boxy mid-range that we kind of have in the recording. Use the filter. Let's do 24 dBs. It's just cleaning it up a little bit. Now, one thing we do is we have the option to actually write automation. So what we do is we just click this. Let's select the read and write buttons, right? We'll play this, and we'll just mess with the volume fader. We'll pause it, and let's see what we got. Now, that's really cool if you need to do any type of mastering effects. But for me, I'm not really going to be needing anything like that. So I'm just going to actually have my fader set to negative 0 dBs. This is doing nothing. So next, what we can do is we can actually freeze this, and we can apply effects or volume pan. So if I click OK, I'm going to apply my effects that I use. We can also highlight this because this is ready to be put into a session to be mixed into a sample. I'm just going to normalize this, and we're going to normalize it to minus 3.5 dB. And there you go. That's all you have to do. It's as easy as that. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys like this. It's a little bit quicker because this is a much easier to understand process. But stay tuned to video four where I show you all of the effects that we have here. And we can show you more of the VST 2 and 3 support. This is Jeremy Taylor with Music Marketing TV. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.